not a little, it's a hospital zone. Sick people. Hey, wait a minute. Just tell me where you want this. What is it? It's your phone. My what? Oh, no. There's got to be a mistake. Well, wait, are you, uh, G. Alonzo Gates? Yes, but <laughs> there's no mistake. Now, where do you want the jack? No, I don't think you understand. You see, I did not order a phone. I don't want a phone. What am I going to do with a phone? Now, look, why don't you reach out and touch someone? I'm telling you, there's some kind of mistake here. Hey, I got my orders right here. Yeah, well, there's got to be another name on those orders because I did not order a phone. And why would somebody else order me a phone? Because I am sick and tired of being your answering service. That's why Veronica finished your ironing. Wants to know when she can drop it off. You don't understand. I cannot have a phone on the Titanic. have made a boont cake. Trapper. And she bring it by tonight. It's my refuge. It's my Elizabeth sanctuary. Elizabeth promised to cut your hair. Oh, How right, about tonight? And you've got a phone. Could have at least let me choose the color. Oh, what's the matter? Don't you have enough choices to worry about? What's wrong, Trapper? Are you jealous? Shame on you. Look, Soans is going to be tied up in surgery all morning. I want you to look in on a patient of his. Uh, she's scheduled for a tummy tuck on Tuesday. Needs the routine physical. You want to do it? Sure. He had her in here last year for cosmetic surgery on her nose, huh? And an eye job. Vanity, thy name is... Beverly woman. Friendly, polysurgical type, yes. Uh, she's one of Soames' favorites, so be nice to her, huh? Obviously. Hi. Hi, gorgeous. Your secretary is out buying more nail polish. Here's your mail. Uh-huh. It's mostly junk. Bills, a bank statement, an invitation to a charity dinner. Oh, and uh, Bud Holloway called. Bud Holloway? Well, I haven't seen him in months. I know he mentioned that. Say anything else? Well, he said his daughter Lisa is a student nurse now, right here at Memorial. He would appreciate it if you would look in on her, show her the ropes, make sure she's okay, you know. Little Lisa? Well, last time I saw her, she was just a shy, scrawny kid. Well, that was a while ago, Trapper. By now, she's probably grown into a sophisticated, poised young woman. <laughs> Somebody to take care of it. Don't want to come with me and uh, let's stay with. Sorry. Okay, Sorry. Lisa. It's okay. All right. So as I was saying, in emergency, you are assigned to certain areas that you. Mr. Have... Cousy, room three is low on gauze and depressors. I'm sorry, Doctor Riverside, but I am assigned to take the student nurses around. Yes. Well, since this is emergency and I am chief of it, I'll take the girls nurses. and you can get me the gauze and depressors. Mm. Yes. Remember, girls, first rule of nursing, always do what the doctor tells you. Now, follow me. You see, emergency is the heart. I'm in big trouble. You've got to help me out. Blah. Sure. If you should see Veronica, tell her that I'm in surgery and I can't make it for lunch. But whatever you do, don't let Veronica find Arlene. Arlene? Yeah, i got to go. I'm late. Thanks a lot. Arlene? Who is that? That is a Dr. Gates. Gates? Who? Bitte vorbeugen. Nein, der Vertrag ist nicht so wichtig, Lou. Wir müssen auf unseren guten Ruf achten. Tief atmen? Nein, 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 nein. Unsere Models würden die Fetzen nicht tragen. Yes. Hallo? Well, well, all right. All right, bring the sketches back to the office. I'll take another look. Okay? Oh, I'm sorry, love. Gotta go. Take care of my beautiful Beverly, Doctor. And she's going to be even more beautiful after her tummy tuck. I love you, love. Bye-bye. Bye, doctor. Isn't it wonderful the way he takes charge? Poor darling, he works too hard, though, when I'm not there to help him. He seems to enjoy it. Look straight ahead. Am I hurting you? Oh, no. Facial exercises for the lines. I do this 20 times a day. I see. Let's try the other eye. I mean, how would it look for me in my business to have lines around my mouth? Can you tilt your head a bit, please? After all, I'm supposed to set a good example. 25 modeling schools carry my name. Our name, actually. Jonathan's and mine. 
Did you ever hear of a friendly model? No, but I like the thought. What I don't like the thought of is his being alone with all those gorgeous creatures while I'm stuck in here. He's a very attractive man, isn't he? And he has a very attractive wife, too. This is friendly. Mm -hmm. Do you really think you need that tummy tuck? Of course I do. Sooner or later, every woman does. Why? Well, you seem to be in excellent condition. Oh, believe me, it's a constant battle. As I tell the girls in my school, a woman's worst enemies are age and gravity. A little tuck here, a little lift there. That's what keeps us young and beautiful. How long have you had that lump? A lump? On me? You've got to be kidding. Where? Right there. Long time? A year? A couple months? Well, I don't know. Why? What is it? I don't know. I'll have to have Dr. McIntyre take a look at it. It won't delay my tummy tuck, will it? <laughs> Let's hope not. My husband. You won't mention this to him, will you? I wouldn't want to worry him. No, I won't say anything. Besides, it's probably nothing. I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. At least not until we check it out further. If you were me, you couldn't afford to worry. It causes wrinkles. Look, I know I've let you down in the past, but this time it is guaranteed. I'll stick to my tea bills, thank you. All right. If you guys want to pass up 6000 tax-free dollars just like that, well, come on, we're talking big bucks here. Huh? All for a lousy $50 investment. Jackson, it's unmanly to beg. Please. And uh, then we moved to Albuquerque, but I always had it in my mind. I want to come back here. I just couldn't think of a more exciting place to be. Well, we'll find a lot of work for you here, for sure. <laughs> what sort of nursing do you plan to specialize in? Hi, Trap. Ah, oh, Dr. Gates. Hi. Well, the ones that intrigue me the most are pediatrics, orthopedics, Dr. Gates. What? Oh, I, 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 I meant that, that's his name, isn't it? Gates? Yes. Do you know him? I'm so sure. You mean, uh, you know him well enough to introduce him to me. Oh, well, uh, I think you better get in line, kid. Uh, Dr. Gates is a very busy man. Und wann wird sich schon eine Chance ergeben? Tja, das liegt bei dir. Was wäre besser, wenn du dich auf deine Arbeit konzentriertest? Sie wissen sicher eine Menge über Dr. Gates. Oh nein, so leicht gehe ich dir nicht auf den Leim. <lacht> auf den Leim sollen Sie auch gar nicht gehen. Ich möchte nur ein wenig, sagen wir, Insider-Informationen, was er so mag und was nicht. Also ich finde, die Insider-Information, die du wissen sollst, steht in deinen Büchern. Eine Schwester hat auch ein Privatleben. Und was die Krankenhausarbeit angeht, muss ich mich nur hineinknien. Ja, wenn man etwas wirklich will, schafft man es. Meinst du deine Ausbildung oder geht's? Keine Sorge, Doktor, das Kind ist erwachsen. Ich weiß immer, was ich tue. Ah. <lacht> late night? A uh, couple of late operations last night. Michelle... And Arlene, right? Wrong. Appendectomies. Besides, what's a big deal? <clears throat> it's common knowledge that you were quite a ladies' man in your day. My day? Well, look at that, x-rays. My day? You know what I meant, Trapper. What I meant was when you were single, not younger. Not that you're not young now. <laughs> ah, stick to the x-rays. Never mind the x-rays. Did you examine Beverly Finley? Yeah, I just came from there. There's no doubt about it. Parotid tumor. Oh, boy. Surgery. A, a tumor? I, but I don't feel anything. It's right there on the parotid gland. That's a salivary gland. Yes. It's right on my face. These tumors are usually slow-growing and benign. Uh, we're going to have to remove it before we can know that for sure. Dr. Gates, you're talking about surgery on my face. But that would leave a scar. I can't have that. 
The incision should be well hidden. It's very much like a facelift. But why bother at all if the silly thing is benign? We don't know that. And I have to be honest with you. The nerve that controls that side of the face runs right through the gland. Now, if the tumor is malignant and it invades the nerve, then we're going to have to sacrifice that nerve. What are you saying? That my face might be paralyzed? That's a very remote possibility, but you have to know the whole story. But you don't even know if it's malignant. I mean, can't you find out without cutting my face open? Well, there is a new test that might help us. It's like an X-ray, using a CAT scan and injecting a dye into the gland. But uh, the results aren't always conclusive, and it can be a bit uncomfortable. Well, it's got to be better than an operation. Well, it's only for a diagnosis, Mrs. Friendly. You may still need the surgery. No, I won't. I won't need surgery. I know I won't. Are you just... Go ahead and do your little x-ray test, doctor, and you'll see that I'm right. Now, if you will excuse me, I have to rest my eyes. deren ganzes Leben von ihrem Aussehen abhängt. Du erzählst ihr, die eine Gesichtshälfte könnte gelähmt werden. Die Nachricht muss ein Schlag für sie gewesen sein. Ah, da ist ein Tisch für uns frei. Nein, setz du dich dahin. Ich habe einen besseren Platz. <lacht> ich verstehe. Entschuldigung. Bis jetzt. Lisa. Can I take the lunch? I just been stood up. I just been edged out. <lacht> You're not going to get anywhere just by one of the flock, you know. Got any better ideas? Nein, ich halte mich aus der Geschichte raus, meine Liebe. Hm. Smell something burning? Yeah, it's my perfume. Forest fire, it's guaranteed to ignite the coldest flame. You're kidding. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> no, 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 I just, uh... Um, I don't know if it's you, you know? Accounting for taste. <laughs> Great. I just blew a bundle on nothing. <laughs> what kind of fragrance do you think is me? Oh, God. Don't ask me. <laughs> I'm no expert. <laughs> but we do have a patient here who is. Now, rub your lips together like this. And always remember to highlight the bottom lip with a paler shade. <laughs> I'll never get the hang of this. <laughs> oh, sure you will. It just takes practice. None of us is perfect at first. Well, I bet you were perfect at first. When you're a joke in a small town, you learn fast. Pass me that sponge. I was homelier than sin at 16. One day, a kid came up to me, a real prankster, captain of the varsity club, comes up to me, tells me that they want to sponsor me in the local beauty contest. Actually had me convinced I was a double for Ann Sheridan. <laughs> Ann who? Ann Sheridan. The girl with the bedroom eyes? Well, anyway, there I was, up against the most beautiful gals in town, and I won. That's terrific! Oh, yes, it sure was. The egg rancher's daughter was the reigning queen. The reigning joke. I found out later the whole thing was fixed. It was the biggest laugh in town. There. Now, this will set your face and keep your makeup fresh all day. Hmm. Hmm, that's terrible. What, the makeup? No, the joke. Oh, it wasn't so bad. First prize was a trip to St. Louis and $100. I spent the money on charm school and a dye job, put a down payment on cap teeth, and came in second in the state finals. But the best thing was, I met my husband. And that never would have happened to a mousy little girl from the sticks. Pass me that mirror. And voila! 
Now see what a little glamour can do. involved with his work. Oh, let's face it. I don't make a very good first impression. Maybe if I dyed my hair. Nonsense. More. Oh, ugly, aren't I? Well, you're not ugly. You're a very bright, attractive girl. Face it, it's hopeless. I'm a loser. Oh, you are not a loser. Okay. Okay, meet me outside in one hour. Why? You'll see. Dr. McIntyre, I really appreciate this. I mean, a busy man like you taking me shopping. Come on, it's no big deal. When you look good, you feel good, right? Thank you very much, including me. You know how much sleep I got last night? Zero. A generous gift of yours kept ringing all night. Oh, yes. What price popularity? No, I'm serious. I was getting crank calls all night long. You didn't give my number out to anyone, did you? <laughs> Don't ask me. Ask Michelle or uh, Bambi or Sharon. Now that is someone I'd really like to know. There you go. Uh, no. Who? Over there. Doesn't she work here or something? Uh, listen, I think we'd better hurry. They're about ready to do that cat scan on Beverly Friendly. I wonder who she is. Why haven't I seen wouldn't her? Wouldn't know, pal. Wouldn't know. Oh, Jonathan, no, darling. You don't have to come by today. You've got too much to do. Oh, sweetheart. It's time to go, Mrs. Friendly. Um, listen, love, I've got to go. They want me for yet another test. All right, darling. Love you, too. Bye-bye. Mrs. Friendly, you're wearing makeup. Of course I am. I'm going to be under hot lights. You have no idea how unflattering overhead lighting is. You can't go into radiology like that. <laughs> Don't I know it. I'll be ready in just a minute. No, no, I mean, you can't go there like this with makeup and eyelashes. I never go anywhere without my eyelashes. <laughs> Believe me, no one will even notice they're gone. Yes, but I will notice. Now, you cannot expect me to go in there stark naked. Please, please don't do this to me. A woman needs some kind of protection.
back to Riverside. Wait up! Jackson, it is no use harassing me. I'm not going to your pyramid no, meeting. No, 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 I just wondered if you've seen Grand Cousy. I got some money to give her. Try pediatrics. What's the money? Her $50 investment. She got it Yeah. Next week, she gets 50 bucks from 10 other people. And the week after that... Oh, what am I telling you all this for? You're not even interested. When's the next meeting? I thought you weren't interested. I'm not. Unless you can assure me it is absolutely open and above board. Sure I can. Okay. Now, here's a map. A map? X marks the warehouse where we meet. Warehouse? To catch the van. Van? They'll blink the headlights three times. Blink? Didn't think that CAT scan would take so long. Huh. Been a lot faster if her eyelashes hadn't kept falling off. We're not going to get the results for a while. You want to grab a bite? Uh, no, thank you. Got other plans. Well, catch you next time. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. No, no, it's, it's my, my fault. fault. I'm Dr. Gates. Oh. Gonzo. Yeah, well, Lisa Holloway. Holloway? We haven't met before, have we? Uh, no. Not, I mean, formally, no. Hemingway, Faulkner, you read these? Oh, well, I was uh, just taking them to a patient. That's amazing. They're my favorite authors. Oh, because I enjoy them so much myself. It's strange, isn't it? We work together, yet we're almost strangers. Yeah, I know. Do you like French food? Uh, yeah. You know, I know this great little place in Sausalito. It's like in the basement of a Victorian hotel. I think. Oh, nurse, to... uh, I need a hand over here, please. Oh, uh, yes, doctor. Oh, oh. sorry. Okay. Uh, I think just okay. follow me. You know, he was just about to ask me out. Exactly, and you are not ready for him. I'm not. That's right. Straight ahead to your right. All that stammering and stuttering. Uh, today's man prefers a woman who has a mind of her own. A woman who is not afraid to speak out on any subject. Art, politics, good music, good wine. Here, try this. Well? Real good. Describe what you taste. No, it'll sound dumb if Come I on, do. Tell me what you think. <sighs> Smooth, easy to swallow. Kind of a full, fruity taste, not strong. And it leaves a little tingle in your mouth. <laughs> Congratulations. A master vintner could not have expressed it better. <laughs> Do you mean that? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Be proud of yourself. You did real good. Now, here's to my favorite student. A woman to be reckoned with. Thank you, Trapper. It's okay, I like good wine. <laughs> I don't mean the wine. I mean... Uh... Well, it's just the trimmings. Mm, I like the trimmings. In fact, I like everything. Good. Including myself. So, there you are. Some more wine? No. I think maybe we better go to dinner. I'm not hungry. Hello. What do you mean I sound funny? I'm fine. What's up? Yeah, I just got the CAT scan results on Beverly Friendly. You sound grim. It looks like a malignant tumor with a few lymph nodes involved. I came here for a simple operation. A simple little tummy tuck. And now suddenly my whole world is falling apart. Mrs. 
friendly. I'm sorry. I think I know how you feel. How could you possibly know how I feel? It's not your face that could be scarred or paralyzed. The tumor may not be that extensive. May not be this, may not be that. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. You don't even know for sure that it is cancer. I'm not letting you touch me. Before you make that decision, I think you should talk it over with your husband. My husband built a career on beautiful women. On me. What do you think this would do to him? What do you think it'll do to you? I don't want to talk about it. You're going to have to talk about it. It's your life. Yes. That's right, it is. It's my life. And I'm not going to have you interfere by cutting me and maiming me in the name of healing. Now, there has to be some other way. The safest, surest way is to remove the gland and hope that the nerve isn't involved. Are you telling me that that is the only way to treat this thing? There has to be some other method. <laughs> you could try radiation, chemotherapy, but I cannot believe that any competent doctor would recommend those treatments for this type of tumor. Who are you to say who is competent? How do I know you are competent? You're welcome to get another opinion. I already have. Mine. As long as there is a chance to avoid this stupid surgery, I'm going to take it. Think it over very carefully, Mrs. Friendly. And whatever you decide, don't wait too long. It's a broken... Your... Hello. Hello. Uh, in room 410. 410? Yeah, uh, uh, there's broken glass. Uh, could you get an orderly to clean it up? Certainly. Oh, wait a minute. Yesterday, remember when we were... Talking? Uh-huh, talking. Uh, listen, would you like to have dinner with me tonight? That's very sweet of you, Doctor. Gonzo. Gonzo. But I'm going to the Warriors game tonight. Warrior? Oh, basketball? You like basketball? Oh, sure. Oh. Well, that ought to be a good game. It was uh, sold out days ago. In fact, uh... Uh, Trapper, you know, Dr. McIntyre uh, got the last tickets available. How'd you get tickets? I'm going with him. You're going with Trapper? Uh, sorry I'm late. Got tied up on a phone call. It's all right. Now, uh, you want to talk to Mrs. Friendly? Yeah, I told her the whole story. And? She said no. No surgery, period. Well, that's understandable. You'll probably change your mind sooner or later, so we better decide which approach we're going to use. Approach? What approach? There's only one way to go about it. That's remove the tumor. And if the nerve is involved? Sacrifice a nerve, put in a nerve graft. Uh, nerve grafts usually produce imperfect results. You could leave her face partially paralyzed. <laughs> What's more important, her life or her looks? I'm just saying there are other ways to do this. Well, I know the other ways. I read the medical journals, too, you know. Well, you've got to consider the patient's personality in this. I mean, things being what they are, I think we should use a more conservative approach, okay? Huh. Figures. Figures? Mm -hmm. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Are you implying that I'm old-fashioned? <laughs> no more than you're implying that I'm inexperienced. Oh, I see. Well... Since I am older and wiser, we will compromise and do it my way, okay? We'll remove the tumor, clean it off the nerve as much as possible, and then give post-operative radiation, okay? Now that that's settled, what the hell is bugging you? What's bugging me? Lisa Holloway. Here I am trying to date her, and you're dragging her off to a basketball game. Oh, I see. Uh, what are you saying? That I am invading your territory? That's one way to put it. You can't have them all, kiddo. Besides, it's not what you think it is. We're just friends, that's all. 
That's not what she thinks. What do you mean? Oh, I saw the way she looked when she was talking about you. She's crazy about you. Crazy about me? Yeah, you. And the way I see it, you're leading her on. You're either fooling her or yourself. Hi, love. Sorry I'm late. Here's some magazines. Had a million things to do. Some flowers. And something special. What is it? Open it. I just signed this girl. Isn't she great? Look at that bone structure. Perfect cheekbones. Brows maybe could be a little more natural, but what a face, huh? Yes. What a face. A real beauty. Speaking of beauty, you look absolutely gorgeous yourself. That's important to you, isn't it? You are important to me. Ah, oh, come on. Now then, when will you and your tummy tuck be out of this place? You know, I've got to arrange our trip to Denver. I don't want to go to Denver, Jonathan. Oh, come on, love. You've got to go. It's your modeling school. It's your name. It's your face that people want to see. My face. My face. Then take it. Take my face. Hey, take it. That's all they hey, want to see. What, what, hey, what are you? This is a kind of hair face. That's what you marry. Take it easy, Bev. What's that all about? I'm sick of schools. I'm sick of models. I'm sick of pretty faces. I'm sick of you fixing me and grooming me and preening over me. My pretty, pretty face. That's all you care about. Bev, you don't actually believe that, do you? Well, why shouldn't I believe it? It's true, isn't it? You think that all it matters to me is your looks? Your beauty? <laughs> Don't knock it, Jonathan. My looks have been paying your bills for years. That's a hell of a thing to say. If I really thought you meant that I... What? You'd leave me? You'd walk out? Well, that's what you're waiting for, isn't it? So go on and do it. Go on. Go back to your beautiful people and your pretty, pretty faces. <laughs> Trepper? Was ist, Ernie? Lisa hat im Büro angerufen. Sie würde gerne wissen, wann du sie abholst, Trepper. Ist gut, danke. Du wirst sie doch abholen, oder? Das geht dich nichts an. Ah, weißt du, Ernie, diese ganze Geschichte wird langsam etwas kritisch. Äh, Lisa ist äh, noch so jung. Mhm. Ein junges Mädchen, das ich zuerst für naiv hielt, aber <lacht> das war ein Irrtum. Nun hast du Angst, dass sie dir die Unschuld raubt. Oh, sehr witzig, Ernie, sehr witzig. Naja, sie ist wirklich sehr nett und es ist ein schönes Gefühl, wenn einem sowas in meinem Alter zustößt. Aber, aber wie du ja weißt, ist Lisas Vater ein sehr guter Freund von mir. Wenn er Wind davon bekommt, weiß ich nicht, wie ich mit der Situation fertig werde. Ich, wie konnte es nur so weit kommen? Bin ich etwa in einer Art Midlife-Crisis? Ach, was Unsinn. Nein, du bist nur schrecklich vernünftig, mein Lieber. Und noch was. Midlife oder nicht Midlife Crisis. Man ist so alt, wie man sich fühlt. Vergiss das nicht. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. I'm Lisa's roommate. Come on in. Aha. Lisa will be ready in just a second. Okay. Um, can I get you a drink or something? Sure. Uh you have any scotch? Oh, no, sorry. But we've got this really great watermelon wine. Fine. Oh, good. So, Lisa says you're a doctor. Mm-hmm. Wow! I've never met a doctor before. I mean, socially. I mean, I know a couple of guys who are going to be doctors, but they haven't graduated yet, so they're not really doctors. They're still students. But I bet you've graduated and all. Well, of course you've graduated. I mean, that was stupid. <laughs> Sorry, you had to wait. Oh, well, hello, hello. Hi. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, well, this is... I'm gonna leave, and it was really nice meeting your doctor. My pleasure. It was nice meeting you.
<laughs> Bye, Trinket. Are those for me? Oh, oh yes. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. You'll have to forgive Trinka. She's rather immature. No, 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 no. She's really nice. I like her. I'm overdressed, aren't I? I guess uh, you don't wear this to a ball game, but I just thought it was something that you'd like on me. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I love it. So will they. <laughs> Definitely a winner. Did I thank you for the flowers? Mm hmm I don't think I did. Um, dinner? I've got a better idea. I've got a great recipe for tortellini con prosciutto. You gonna cook? Why not? And maybe we could watch the game on TV. And then maybe again. We won't. Yes. Hello? Yeah, uh, what are her vital signs? Okay, I'll be right there. It's Beverly friendly. She uh, tried to kill herself. to be here. Beverly, I don't know what's gotten into you, but you're... Nurse! Nurse! Lisa, would you get this man out of my room? Sure. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Friendly. I think maybe you better go. Before I go, Bev, I want to tell you something. No. Yes, you're going to hear it. I want you to know that I resent what you're doing to yourself. To me, to us. I don't want to hear this. I think you're being blind and foolish and selfish. I don't know why you turned against me. Turned against yourself. Will you please make him go. No. Not until I tell her that I love her. Isn't there some way I can make her understand that? How do I make this woman realize that I love her? No. He won't love me. <laughs> if I'm scarred. If I'm ugly, if my face is paralyzed. Dr. Gates told me about the tumor. You don't see me running, do you? He will. When this is all over and he sees what I look like, he'll go. Tell her she's speaking nonsense, will you? Sure, of course. I always loved her for her beauty. But it isn't her looks that make her beautiful. Can't you see that, Beth? It's you. It's not your hair or your eyes. It's the stupid facial creams you use. It's just you. And damn it! Can I make you understand that? Stay here with me.
doctor? Ah, Mr. Friendly. Your wife is fine. Uh, there was a tumor in the gland, but we removed it all and uh, preserved the facial nerve. Thank you very much, doctor. Thank you for everything. She'll be in recovery soon. You uh, can Gonzo? See her in, in a couple of hours, excuse me. What's up? Well, uh, we got kind of a, a minor emergency going on here. What's wrong? Well, it happened late last night. I'll explain why you're changing. Yeah, you can release the prisoner now. Right. Yeah, it's 400, 420, 40, 60, 80, 500. That's it. Boy, am I glad to see you. Not you, him. Can you believe it? 30 people at the pyramid meeting and the only one they arrest is me? Me. <laughs> Maybe it's arresting personality, Stan. Come on, let's go. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Very nice. I heard surgery went well. Pretty good, pretty yeah, good, yeah. yeah. Um, listen, we have got to talk. Yeah, I know, I know, and I want you to just sit down here a minute. What? Just sit down, I want you to just sit there, and I just don't want you to say anything until I'm through, okay? Um, you were right. I realized that last night with Mrs. Friendly. I mean, her husband loves her. He really loves her. Not her looks. I mean, good looks are important, but, uh... They're not everything. They're just the icing on the cake. And that's not just my opinion. Well, yes, that's my opinion. <laughs> and thanks to you, you know, the last couple of days have been very wonderful for me. Not just the trimmings. And I love you for that. And therein lies the problem. The last thing you need is a starry-eyed student nurse hanging around, messing up your life. I mean, maybe you could handle it. But I know I couldn't. After all, you know, you're a very attractive man. And I just want to thank you for everything you've given me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, come on, wait a minute. Where are you going? I'm going back to school. School? Yeah, medical school. I decided I'm a bright woman, a pretty good nurse. I figure why stop at being a nurse when I could be a doctor? <laughs> You're really something else, you know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do when you start trusting yourself. I love you. Oh, thanks. <sighs> okay. Uh, you're not going to forget us when you get rich and famous, are you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And there's Sharon. Now, when I'm with Sharon, I totally forget about Michelle. But when I'm with Michelle... It's a consummation, devoutly to be wished. Oh, Michelle is like... You gotta answer that. Phone man will get it. He's removing the phone. Removing it? You just got it. Yeah, well, I wasn't getting any sleep. Some of the student nurses got a hold of my number and... Hey, phone call for some guy named McIntyre. How could anybody know I was here? Some girl named Trinka. Oh, uh, tell her, uh, she got a wrong number. Who's Trinket? Lisa's roommate. <laughs> Looks like the word's out, lover boy. Shut up and drink. <laughs> Here's to the generation gap. Oh, really? I haven't noticed. Oh. <laughs>